Good morning, John. Um, so honestly, I, I just can't right now. So instead, I'm going to indulge in three things I like a lot. Uh, home soda carbonation, Mars, and pedantic overanalysis. Soda Stream had a Super Bowl commercial, and it's one of my top, like, five Soda Stream commercials. You might think I'm kidding, but no. Number one is definitely this one from the 90s. It's Soda Stream, so get busy with the physics. Number two, probably this one from the 80s. Hey, an unexpected scene, so get busy with the physics with Soda Stream. They never really settled on a jingle during those years, but they really stuck with Get Busy With The Fizzy, like, for decades. Which is a little baffling, considering that, like, I will do a lot with The Fizzy, but I tend to not get busy with it. But anyway, Super Bowl commercial, Mars, Soda Stream, I gotta talk about it, right? Especially because I think there are some teaching moments here. Shot number one, establishing shot from Mars Drone Cam 2. Shot number two, our astronauts on Mars. Shot number three, they're excited about something. Shot number four, shot number five, it's water on Mars! Yeah, I'm gonna have some problems with this. There's enough confusion already about the water situation re-Mars. We're not like probably never gonna find liquid water on Mars. It's like physically impossible for there to be liquid water on Mars. The temperature is too low for it to be liquid. And if it was not, because the pressure is so low there, it would immediately evaporate into a gas into the atmosphere. You might have heard of these like streaks that appear on the side of very steep mountains. Those might be a kind of flowing water, but they're seeping through soil. And they're also, if they exist, extremely saline. So they've got a bunch of salts in them, not like table salt, like perchlorate salts, which are Super toxic. Shot number six, we're at Mission Control, which is a very quick shot, but I have a lot to say about it. First, there are no NASA logos here, which is a little confusing to me. Is this a SpaceX thing? More important to me, though, on this beautiful wall of HD images live stream from the surface of Mars, on the bottom right-hand corner, there's a picture of Earth. And I zoomed into that picture of Earth, and there's a little caption, and it says, Great Pacific Plastic Patch? Look, ocean plastic is a big deal, but not like, uh, we're just gonna keep an eye on it from Mars Mission Control Day. Big deal. Number seven, beautiful shot of the water. Number 7.5, same shot, but now in an internet news site. Other articles from this site. Something about the Super Bowl, something about plastic waste, optimism about climate change, and sparkling water is all the rage on Wall Street. Was this just for me? Who else looked at this? But my biggest problem with this news site is this. Water on Mars. Now, I'm not just being insufferable here. I hear it all the time. People are, like, excited to maybe find water on Mars. There is a lot of water on Mars, and we've known this for decades. If all the water on Mars right now was melted, there would be oceans on Mars. And also, we know from the Curiosity rover that there once were oceans on Mars. Shot number eight, Billy Nye, get that money, son. But also, why do you have a big old rock on your desk and a microscope facing the wrong way and calculations for gravitation over a distance on your blackboard? Number nine, this young woman is Alyssa Carson, who's a science communicator and space enthusiast, so that's cool. Also, here we get to see that somehow we named our Mars mission after a Roman emperor who was known largely for debauchery and incompetence. Why did we do that? I don't know. Subtle dig at the current leadership, maybe? Number 10, reverse shot. Who are these people? We have not seen them before. Also, this is the shot where we hear the telltale sound of the soda stream. 11, close up on competent woman. 12, close up on competent man. 13 and 14, close up on soda stream. 15, mid shot of incompetent man. 16, he's really enjoying his beverage. I actually asked on Twitter and somebody knew that this thing is a mass 100 NT microbiological air sampler. So like, that's a real science thing. Shot number 17, she looks very worried, but this is not the face of a woman whose only Mars water sample has been destroyed. It's the face of a woman who realizes that her colleague is about to die of perchlorate poisoning. His thyroid is shutting down right now. Mark, it was never safe to go to Mars, but we didn't think you'd go out like this. Soda stream. Get busy with the fizzy. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.